Hi guys, just finished work. Not been able to get out and do any fishing for ages, so I thought, get the work done. Finished at five o'clock, it's quarter to six. Come out, get a few fish between, it's got to be done, and then just so busy, just don't get the time to do as many videos as I'd like. Anyway, what we're going to do tonight, um, might catch a few fish but I'm hoping to get a nice big perch. I'm going to show the setup, it's dead simple. I'm going to fish underneath a tree here that's overhanging, looks really nice. And the setup's dead easy, nothing complicated tonight. I've got an eight foot leisure rod, tiny little half ounce weight on there. It's two BB number either side, one BB here, and I've got a size 14 barber, so I might put a big one on, and I'm just going to use a worm, no ground bait, no hemp seed, yeah that's right, no ground bait, no hemp seed, just a worm, a hook, and a light leisure underneath this tree, actual fact, I think you can probably see it, so it's just under there, and that looks very very perchy, and that's all we're going to do, and we're just going to use the orange quiver tip, keep it dead simple. I've probably got, get start around about 80 ish so, a couple of hours or so. But I had to do it. Sorry if I took a little while to put, uh, put one up ago, or a little while ago. The last one I made, I was talking to the camera quite a lot. And because the sun was shining on the monitor, the camera wasn't switched on, wasn't recording. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not so good eh? Anyway, let's see if we can get some fish. So we're just going to get a worm out, as I say, no hemp seed, no ground bait, nothing like that. Because it's full of carp in here. I like the carp, but I really want to catch a perch and it's it's come overcast now, because most of today has been quite sunny. So it's overcast now, which is good. So we'll put the old quiver tit out, see how it goes here. Some really nice juicy worms. Almost so good I can eat them. Carp splashing about there. I just wanted to come out and have some fun. The job's so busy at the moment, lots of complicated numbers to do and booking in all these different seeds. Just needed to get my rod out. Yeah, my rod. Yeah. I've got a barbless size 14. And when I tighten up to the quiver tip, I'm only just going to tighten it up. I'm not even going to put a full bend in the tip because it's a very, very light little weight on there. And I want to make it as sensitive as possible. The old perch do like the worms. Any fish likes worms. But you probably know from your younger days fishing for perch with worms, almost a traditional thing. What I'm doing at the moment guys is very old school really, it's nothing as I say, it's just that, if I can keep it still, there's a tiny little weight on there, very slight uh, running length, only short, the weight doesn't, doesn't weigh anything. I've got a BB about six, seven inches from the hook, from the hook and the worm, that's it, nothing else. Uh, we're just going to flip it out towards that tree. In fact, I might even just do an underhand cast. And that's all there is to it. I'm just going to plop that out, tighten up the line just a little, not much. The bites will be quite, uh, quite vicious. And uh, just one single worm. I'm going to use loads of ground bait. Always works here, the ground bait. 
but there's so many carp in here, I really want to perch. So I'll try and avoid the ground bait, just use a single worm. Might chop a few up, lob a few out, but uh, yeah, so it's 10 minutes to 6, we'll have a couple of hours. Stay tuned, anything can happen in the next half hour, maybe. Well guys, I've been fishing 5 minutes and I haven't had a bite really slow <laughs> I don't care we, I'm sure we'll, if I leave here and blank today or this evening then I really need my head sink to oh that's pretty that's, that's not a good thing to say is it <laughs> I really would like a nice perch they do go to about two and a half in here but I just needed to come out relaxed I'm sure you know what it's like. Life is a rush, isn't it? Fill this in. Password for this. You need a password for that. What's the name? Print this. PDFs. Oh my goodness me. Do this. Sign this. Put this in. Weigh this. Apart from that, it's all right. But a nice big perch. Just even one perch would be nice, but a, you know, good size. A pound plus. I'll settle for a pound plus. So, what are we in now? 15th of August. Where's this year gone? It's gone so fast, hasn't it? 15th of August. It's quite cool now. It was really hot earlier today. I thought, oh, don't want it too hot this evening. But, uh, yeah. But this is just nice. nice. There's a nice little breeze. It's nice to sort of chill out, <laughs> take it easy. I've eaten too much food today. I ate a bit of a pig of myself. I'll just pull that quiver tip a bit. Yeah, it is working. So there's nothing wrong with the quiver tip. <laughs> I'm in a really daft mood this evening, guys. Anyway, just a fun little video and I hope you enjoy it. Oh, yeah, by the way, talking of enjoy, um, we will be getting back on the Thames pretty soon. Uh, normally September, October is a really good time. I really want to target some of these big river bream because they do fight. Um, also, <clears throat> some barbel. I want to do some barbel fishing with you guys as well. I've not caught that many barbel, so I'd like to get one or two biggish ones this year, which would be good. And of course, the Thames has got some huge perch. So we will be targeting those later on as well. So there's plenty to come. I've just got to work my way around the uh, all the other bits and pieces. But we're fine. We're all good, yeah? You're good? I hope so, anyway. Nearly 10 minutes and not a bite. What's going on? I think we need a bit of action here, don't you? I'll think of something in a minute. Maybe in two minutes. I'll be right back. I'll tell you what guys, <clears throat> this quiver tip's working. It's a good one. I think it's got a four month guarantee. I'm getting a lot of bites now. I'm going to turn this camera around, face it towards the old quiver tip and a bit more of the lake rather than you seeing me. And uh, see if I can give you a bit more close up of the old action, yeah? We're in guys, I think it's a cart. Ah, oh, oh, I thought I'd lost it. <coughs> okay. That was a good solid bite. I don't care what it is. Yeah, it's a cart. But hey ho, this is a bit of evening fun, so we don't care. You don't care. It's a fish. My tough working day has just disappeared. In, in the net. Hey. Well, seems that the quiver tip's working. Maybe I won't take it back to the shop. 
<laughs> Let's have a look at it. Him, her, whatever. Lovely bite though, straight round. Put it on the unhooky mat. I'm trying to get hold of it. The hooks come out. That's handy. Here we go. Nice common. back in the next and put it back in the next swim don't disturb mine too much I'll be fishing in this one yeah put it back in here shall we what a lovely evening slip it back in here here you go fishy thanks a lot buddy yeah fish number one that's a start Right, so we know the quiver tip's not faulty. <laughs> oh dear, what are you like, Clive? Didn't bring a rag, as usual. You know me, never do. Oh, look. Red berries, black berries, not right. I don't know. You tell me. Oh, look, look. Look at those. I used to love eating these as a kid. There's a blackberry, look. See? We love that. Mmm, lovely. Yum, yum. Mrs. is saying, you should have washed it first. She's probably right, but hey ho. Right. As we don't have loads of time, Get another worm on the hook. See what else we can get. Oh, Rob is taking the flip round. Carp, probably about two, two and a half, but it's a fish, right? It's a fish. Put on another worm. I've had these worms for quite a long time, so I put some rainwater on them yesterday. But they look really good, actually. There you look. I'll show you. See? Look at that. Lovely set of worms, aren't they? Oh, what fish can refuse those, eh? Right. All I do, everybody hooks worms maybe different ways, but one vital thing um, I suggest, though, make sure that the point's not covered. Quite often a worm will... Wiggle, wiggle around, wriggle around, and it cover the point of the hook. Sometimes you can lose a fish like that, so make sure the point of the hook's showing, won't you? And, uh, yeah, I do. That's it. Right. Back out again. Not a very good cast, but the fish come right into the margins here anyway. And I always like to fish the margins, so it doesn't really matter. It's fine. Oh, 
I'm just going to tighten it up only a little bit to that tip. That's all there is to it. It was a lovely evening. Very nice. Right. Let's see if we can catch another. Oh, the sun's come right out now. Glorious. Very nice. Not too hot this time of the day, it's just nice. Cool. We've latched into probably another car, but it's a bit bigger this one guys. Quite nearly pulled the rod in. In fact, to be honest, oh wow. That's really uh putting a strain on the rod. Gosh, if I hadn't have been here by the road, I think I would have gone in and felt like I definitely would have gone in. Oh, nice cream van. <laughs> that takes me back to my childhood days. bigger than the last one. Oh, hey, lovely. I'll tell you what, guys, this is turning out to be a really good evening session. Oh, that's a nice fish. That is a nice fish. That cool. Wow. Ooh. That's uh, about four pounds or so. Let's have a look at it, shall we? Oh, it's a cracking fish. Oh, that's a beaut. That is an absolute beaut. Hooks right in the corner of the mouth. Yeah, I reckon it's about three, three and a half pound. Nice. Oh dear me, all good fun. But I love it. Do love it. Oh. Well, a couple of little tentative bites, slight pull round, and very strange. Sometimes, I'm not saying it has, um, there is a possibility that worms come off the hook, being as it's barbless. What do you reckon? Shall we have a look? Shall I leave it for another minute or two, or shall we t take it out, see the worms come off the hook? What do you think, guys? Um, yeah, I think you're probably right. Bring it in and have a look. Okay, I'll do that. 
Yeah, still on there. Still on there. Okay. Let's put it back out a bit. I do. Just on the edge of that tree. Ooh, that was quite a nice fish out there. Tempted to lob it out a bit further, but I'm really after a perch. There's more chance of getting a perch by this uh, tree that's sticking in the water. It's very sort of perchy. I'm sure they do swim out in the middle there. Sometimes, you know. I'm sure they move out in the, in the middle of the pond there. But I like the edges, that to me. That is just screaming perch. Ah! Stupid boy Pike. Mr. Mannering. <laughs> oh dear. Come on, Clive. Catch at least one more. Well, oh, that's a nice little, uh, nice little, nice little shape there. Take it round, put it right round. I dare you. <laughs> I remember many years ago. Oh, here we go. Here we. Go. Many years ago, I was barbel fishing with a mate of mine on the Thames, and we stayed there. Uh, you know, we stayed there all night long. But just before it got dark, I'll never forget it. He said to me, "When do you think the barbel might come on the feed?" And I said to him, uh, "Well, it could be any time now." And blow me down, tip shot round just as I said now. And uh, yeah, oh. he's playing with it. And. Uh, four pound barbel graced the net that was a good thing the bad thing was didn't get anything else all night that was the first fish and that was the last but it's just when he said when would they feed i said now the tip suddenly shot right round. here we go all good fun come on fish Definitely playing with it. I mean, there's no real resistance on that, on that line whatsoever. Not really. Could make it even lighter, but this water is very dark. There's a lot of algae in this water, so it shouldn't really make too much of a difference. There's definitely something playing with it. It's just kind of messing about with it a little bit, you know. But we'll keep our eye on that tip, shall we? We'll just keep her eye on it. It's gonna go. Somebody's playing with it. Come on, come on. Come on. Could be a small fish. That is I don't think this is a cart. Oh, what's this? Is it a perch? Is it a perch? Or is it a roach? Could be a nice size roach. It's a perch, guys, it's a perch. Perch, perch, perchy. Guys, we've done it. It's not a huge fish, but who cares, it's a perch. That's what we came out to get, and that's what we got. We've got our perch. And we might get another one. I'm really glad it's not a carp. No offense to the carp anglers. But, uh, yeah, lovely fish. Oh, I do like perch. Our biggest perch, two pound 
14 ounces, long time ago, but they're just such a lovely fish. Oh, don't know if he's actually swallowed it or not. Wouldn't be surprised, they are somewhat. Oh no, hook's out. Here we go, hook's come out. That's about six ounces, half a pound. But that's lovely, yeah. That's what we came out to get. And that's what we got. Nice perch. Might get another one. Put him back next door. We don't disturb the swim too much. fish there you go yeah. oh, at the first perch I had a nice uh, carp about five pound earlier I caught that and a half go yeah. and that was right but being as it's a nice light little eight foot rod ah oh, so much fun Right guys, so that's uh, that's our first first perch. See if we can get another one a bit bigger. You never know. You never know. But what a lovely, what a lovely evening session. Brilliant. out well the light is fading now and it's nearly quarter past set, uh, eight so anyway we've had a few fish out uh, some roach perch carp so it's been a really nice evening session and uh, thanks a lot for viewing if you enjoyed it give it the old thumbs up and hit that subscribe button won't you and hopefully all being well this coming weekend uh, we will go fishing again I don't know if it be on the River Thames I'm very tempted to leave that until about September but if we do go fishing again, we'll try for something, perhaps some bigger tench. I've got a place in mind where the tents are quite large. So we'll see what happens. But stay safe out there, won't you? And uh, I'll catch you again soon. At least the quiver tips are not broken, still working. I think I'll keep it. Bye-bye.